What is up guys and good morning. If you cannot tell, my hair is getting quite long and it's just gonna keep getting longer. I know I'm gonna grow it out. Anyway, today I'm gonna give you guys a full day of eating. Right now I'm doing a 10 day mini cut because my bulk was getting a little out of control. I was eating one too many ice cream sandwiches. Um, and I'm just gonna bring my calories back and do some more cardio. I'm gonna be eating at around 2,500 calories, do this for about 10 days. I'm probably gonna do it for one more week and then I'm gonna go home next weekend and see my family for the first time since I moved. So that's gonna be good. I'm gonna be uh, at Thanksgiving dinner and I'm gonna go ham on the turkey, so. Alright, so for my first meal of the day, I am eating a cup of oats right there. That's going to be it. That's going to be all I eat. When I'm bulking, I have peanut butter, I have yogurt, I have an apple, I have a rice cake, I have oatmeal, I have a bunch of crazy different, a bunch of different stuff. But um, now that I'm cutting, I'm just going to cut it down to the essentials. So this is going to be uh, very high carbs. It's going to get my uh, carbs in before I go work out. And this is all I'm gonna eat. So this comes out to be about 300 calories. Actually, no, about like 230 calories with uh, the milk, brown sugar, and half a cup of oats. So that's gonna be my pre-workout meal. I'm about to go get ready for the gym and uh, I'll see you guys there. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, it is a lot of food, or not, it's not a lot of food. So after I'm done eating, I'm still very hungry. So what I'm doing now is I'm just drinking some black coffee to help curve the hunger and give me energy before, um, before I go work out, so it's a it's a two in one, two birds with one stone. Okay, so today actually just got entirely flipped upside down on its head. I had plans to go to the gym in the morning, come home, eat, edit up a video to upload today, and then I was gonna upload this one tomorrow. Um, and then I was gonna you know take my time, get ready for work. But I actually just got called in to work about. 10 minutes ago, so I'm gonna be working a double today from 11.30 to probably nine o'clock tonight. But that's okay because I'm pretty flexible and I'm super reliable, so what I'll do is I will make up a new plan for today. So I think I'm gonna to go to work. I'll go to the gym late tonight, like nine o'clock, and I'll show you, I'm still gonna show you guys what I eat. So with my work schedule from 11 to nine, I'll show you guys how you can still eat within your macros. You know, I'm gonna be going out to eat, um, I'm going to be eating a meal at work, so I'll show you guys where I'll be getting there, and then I'll probably go to 7-Eleven and pick up some food. So you guys will get to see what I'm going to eat while I'm on the on the go like this and still be able to hit my uh, calorie intake. What is up, people? So I just got to work at BJ's. i am be working for the next probably nine hours or some shit like that. Um, I probably won't be able to eat until 4 o'clock. That's when my break is. So I stopped at Walmart to go get some snacks before. Um, I'm going to eat these right now since I won't have any time to you know, eat in between. So I got a Quest Bar, a Cookies and Cream Quest Bar, and then I got a Len and Larry's Cookie. Now these are kind of like treats, but they're snacks. Uh, just want You can pick these up literally at any gas station out there in the world. There's some gas stations that don't have it, but most of them will have a Quest Bar and Len and Larry's Cookie. They're pretty popular. So if you're ever on the run, these are two great you know things to get instead of getting fast food if you're gonna get McDonald's or Burger King or something just run into a 7-eleven and grab one of these it's a much healthier choice and um, you know it comes down to choices what what you choose to eat is what you choose to feel like and what you choose to feel like is how you choose to live your life if you choose to eat great you're gonna feel great and then you're gonna live a great life so uh, it always comes down to choices. There's always a healthier choice. These come out to about 600 calories for both, but since I'm going to be working my ass off for the next nine hours, barely eating anything, uh, I can spare the calories. I'll let you guys know how it goes, and uh, I'll be back for lunch to show you guys what I'm eating. All right, guys, so it's about 3 o'clock. Actually, it's about 4 o'clock right now. It's 3.35 or 3.40. I don't remember. But what I got here is a BJ's uh, kid. Actually, I got this off the kid's menu. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty ashamed, but... Fuck it, it's a free meal. Um, I got chicken, veggies, and rice. 320 calories, which shows that you can go to a restaurant 
get something healthy that fits your macros if you look hard enough. It took me a while to find this one because it was on the kids menu, but uh, you know, I found it, now it fits my macros, and I'm also sipping on one of these white monsters because I have a 15 minute break, then I have to go back to work probably until like nine o'clock tonight. So, monsters got zero calories, and it gives me good energy, and I just like the taste, so. <laughs> All right guys, just got off work. I'm about to eat this rice cake because we're going straight to the gym. Maddie uh, did an awesome thing. She brought all my clothes and the pre-workout. And um, What is up, guys? This is right after I hit a back session with Maddie. We hit a lot of compounds and a lot more isolation movements. We hit about 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. You know, the abs are looking a little bit leaner than they were a couple weeks ago, but they're still not as shredded as they were in April. They probably won't be looking like that until another six months from now, but... I always find that when I do these kind of uh, videos, I'm very overcritical and I analyze myself a little bit too much. Uh, you know, I guess that, that pushes me to be better constantly and I always want to be more, but I'm never satisfied with where I'm at and that, and that always makes me unhappy because I want to be about 10 steps farther than where I am currently. If any of you guys know what I'm talking about, know that feeling, hit me up in the comment section and uh, you know, you're not alone. But with that, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys in the next clip. and. Uh, Make sure to subscribe. Alright guys, so I just finished up this workout. About to drink BCAs for recovery. I always drink them immediately after I finish my cardio just to uh, give my muscles some protein to work with right away. And then I'll wait about 30 to 40 minutes before I eat my uh, meal. Alright, so it is 10 o'clock right now, and I have not eaten my post-workout meal. We just got home from the gym. Now it's time to cook. Even though it's 10, I gotta get my macros in. No excuses. I'm gonna have six eggs, two pieces of toast with some jelly. guys that is going to be the end of the video it is about 10 15 right now p.m pacific time so um there was some stuff i was planning on doing today that i didn't get a chance to do because i had got called into work early worked a double so i'm going to do that right now i don't care how long it takes me if i'm up till in the a.m hours i have school in the morning but you know all right guys i'm out if you guys like the video found something useful please subscribe like share the video uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.